c'est même. As I'm sure you're aware, Shadow Moses Island is an extremely harsh environment. Staying out there in that raging blizzard will take a severe toll on your psyche. More than ever before, the success of this mission depends on you taking the proper measures to maintain your psyche. Don't forget that. Alaska. 
the tank hangar. It sure brings back memories, doesn't it? I know it's all ancient history by now, but do you remember how you snuck into the hangar last time? I seem to remember the front hangar door being shut back then because of a blizzard just like this one. Yeah, there's two ducts that lead inside, an upper and a lower one. I picked one and used it to sneak in. Well, now you've got three ways to get in. Lucky you. Donald Miller. Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots of them.
Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? Solid Snake? The legendary Solid, Solid, Solid Snake? Snake? You? You? You don't worry. You don't worry. You'll land back You'll on them to meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I unlocked the cargo door for you. Where are you? Where, are you? Where I am. I don't see any enemies around here. Okay, we'll go through the door all the way at the back. Otacon, last time around we had a few complications and wound up going through the commander's office in the basement. That's right. I remember now. But there's no need to go all the way down there this time, right? The back door takes us straight where we need to go. Mm hmm. Good point. Okay then, let's get to the back door. Snake, that door is locked. How do I open it? Security is shut down altogether. You can't release the lock without activating it. You'll have to log in somewhere. I've got it, Snake. My old office is close by. With the power on, you should be able to unlock the door from there. And if you check the facility records, we can find out Rex's status and who's been in and out. You remember where it is, Snake? Uh, I've not seen Al yet. 
Just to be safe, I'm marking it on your map. You old geezer. <coughs> Snake, the password is 48273. Think you can remember that? I told you, I'm not senile. Yet. Snake, I've checked the APU on this floor and engaged the generator. Energy output is low, but it should be enough to power the elevator. Try the elevator and see if it's working. Okay, first go down the central hallway. Don't worry, it's not electrified anymore. Everything looks exactly like I remember it. Except for that wall way in back, anyway. I still can't believe how much damage you caused in such a small space. Ah, the switchboard. Nailed it with a remote control missile to shut down the electric current in the floor. The guidance system in those things takes up so much space, it hardly leaves any room for explosives. Didn't make much of a bang, huh? Hardly. Switchboard's still intact. You're right. The wiring past the switch circuits could still be live. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna get shocked if I walk on this floor, am I? No need to worry. As long as you don't turn the current back on. This brings back memories. My colleagues and I used to work in these cubicles. We were all brilliant engineers. The best of the best. And we were close, too. Like family. We used to play pranks on each other all the time. Like, on this one girl's birthday, we stuffed her cubicle completely full of balloons. Or this other guy who got married, when he came back from his honeymoon, he found his workstation had been hollowed out and its guts replaced with jelly beans. <laughs> uh, sounds like a blast. It was. But all that time, my colleagues and I, we were building wrecks. Here we are, messing around in our cubicles all day like giddy grad students, and what do we end up with? A weapon of mass destruction. It's not exactly the sort of thing you can look back on and laugh, is it? You obsess over the past too much. It's a bad habit. Come on, I need directions here. That's your job, right? To support me. Yeah, you're right. You can count on me. We're partners, after all. Good to have you with me, partner. It's good to be here, Snake.
Hold on. I want to check security. digit number. up any unpleasant memories, is it? <laughs> I was being attacked by Frank Yeager. Yeah, I remember. If you hadn't shown up when you did, uh, gives me the shivers just thinking about it. Snake, you saved my life. Frank's body. But it was me that crippled him in the first place. She must have hated me too. <sighs> we shouldn't have been so trusting. I blame myself too. I helped develop Rex. That's why it was so easy for me to believe her feelings were genuine. But she was only using us to atone for her sins. So what? What did she do to us? You forgot already? She betrayed you. She stole your blood. If that was all, it should have been over and done with in South America. Why'd she join us afterward? Well, I... I uh... She has us come rescue her, and then she turns around and goes straight back to Liquid. Why would she do that? I don't know, Snake. But it looks like she's still with him. What? I just had a look at the security access logs. As I thought, there's people coming and going at frequent intervals. In fact, the records show some recent activity. Look at this. It's an image taken a few hours ago by a surveillance camera up ahead. Naomi. And Vamp. The 
beauty and the beast. They've been through here. And from what we've gleaned from the security records, it can only mean one thing. They're headed for Rex's old underground hangar. I finished rebooting security and released the locks. The door on the first floor ought to open for you now. Amazing. Almost makes me nostalgic for the days when you needed a key card for every door. Yep. It's been nine years. All you really have to do is reinterpret the old technology in terms of the new. Getting old isn't all that bad, you know. <laughs> Let's get going, Snake. I finished unlocking the door on the first floor. It should open now. <laughs> 